they keep surprising you, Villarreal, don't they? That's a fantastic result. Um, and oh, and looking at those highlights, Brian, you'd almost say that maybe they're come away, coming away from it thinking, we should be further ahead. Yes, they had some wonderful chances. But as always, you know, they're organised, disciplined, spirited and really effective. I mean, Emery does a great job with the teams he has and he's on a... Absolutely smashing job with this team. We saw them win the Europa League last year. Very, very rarely anyone got a, a draw with them. They went through the knockout stages, beating Kiev, Zagreb, Zagreb, Arsenal got a draw with them, and then they beat them in the second leg. And then they beat Manchester United mm. and penalties in the final. A very effective unit. We saw them get through the group. Although Manchester United beat them, drew with them this year, they finished ahead of Atlanta, they finished second. And here they go in the knockout stages. This was a, this was a great performance by them tonight. They had to defend deep at times, but they were always a threat in the counter-attack. Moreno was very, very good. And Juma was good. Um, the midfield organisation, the Celso working hard, playing wide. Cockle and tighten up the middle of the pitch as well. They played one less attacking player than they normally would. But really good performance. And it gives them a chance in the second leg. The statistics that came up there really surprised me. You know, you'd expect Bayern to, 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 to have a real grip of that game and, and pin them in. I'll tell you, the possession statistics weren't mm. that far apart. I think it was um, 49, 31 maybe, or whatever it was. It wasn't a million miles away. And the total number of passes as well, you know, showed that they did have a, a foothold in that game. And when you see the chance they created, I'll tell you, they will be disappointed. What, what, what really stands out, Damien, and, you know, Bernard was doing the team news at the start of that game. We talked about, you'll have heard of this player, you know, Lo Celso on loan from Tottenham and Foyth was at Tottenham and Cochrane was at Arsenal and Danjuma was at Bournemouth. And, you know, they're not big stars or guys that maybe it didn't happen for in, in Premier League or in other, other bigger clubs. But he seems to get them organised and get them playing. And Lo Celso, we'll see him now, his involvement in that first goal. He was given the UEFA Player of the Match Award a guy who was surplus to requirements at Spurs just a few weeks ago. Yeah, it just shows you how important uh, systems are, really. You know, if you get the right players, the right system, they can flourish, you know. Um, this is a great goal, by the way. I mean, they worked it really, really well um, to get to the byline and the pullback. And, I mean, he reacts really, really well to Juma. You know, they work a real nice overload down this side where they've got three against two and it causes problems. Sent back doesn't come out, pull back to the penalty spot. And look at him alive there, alert, getting himself into the middle of goal just in case something happens. And luckily for him, it lands right in his path. But just to go back to the, what I was saying about systems, certain players are signed to certain clubs because they've done well somewhere else and then they put them in a different system when they mm. arrive at that club. They don't fit it, it doesn't quite <clears> work out for them. But clubs like Villarreal will always be scouting these players saying, if we had him in about Jurgen Klopp with Jota and, and Diaz, if we could get him in our team, you know, he's the type of number six that I like, he's the type of number seven that I like, you know, we, we could do with him. And then when they're cast off, it's almost like they've already depreciated in value. They couldn't afford them when they're on their way up. But when they're getting cast off, Villarreal will it's, be it's, sniffing around getting that. It's, it's the money ball thing, isn't it? <laughs> well, yes. Right, isn't it? You know, but <laughs> like, if you're Villarreal, you don't have much money. You know, we talked about it on the Europa League run last year about comparing their turnover to Man United's turnover and all that. They got to do this, don't they? They got to be smart and, and get guys at yeah. And, and I have have a coach though that can, that that can, can yeah, exactly uh, that, that, that he's happy with those players. And I think his time in England would have helped him on that. Another one who was done brilliantly for them is Kapua in the middle of the field. But mm. the two centre halves, Pautaris, there's always been a lot of talk in recent years about bigger and fancier clubs signing him. But he's still there, and he won a European trophy last year. An amazing achievement for that club. And I'll be all who has seen it all before Real right? Madrid in the past. He's still doing a great job for them. I think he's 37 years of age. Mm. But again, it's it's working with those players, with bringing in the ones who weren't so successful in the past or other clubs. Uh, Pere in the middle of the field does an um, absolutely brilliant job for them. But the, the walk right, the, the, the team ethic is all important. And that's how they get results. Yeah. It's, it's not, you know, it's not that they run all over teams, but they're always in the game because they're confident in the system, confident and, in that and play. And here's the, you know, the, the, the moments where they're, this one was just marginally offside, but 
Yeah, Cockler make a lovely little run down through the, the inside left channel. He was tucked in off the left hand side with Danjuma outside the most of the match. I think it was meant as a cross for Moreno, but Moreno did, did a brilliant job. His hold up play in the match was smashing. Here's a, a shot uh, out of the blue in the game. Here's another little opportunity. Danjuma plays her inside just as Moreno was about to stick it in the net. Alfonso Davies gets across and makes it, it makes it a challenge that stops him. Moreno has a goal from deep inside his own half after a mistake by the goalkeeper Neuer. But he was the one that, that won it. He won the ball. He, he, he read Neuer's pass into midfield. And another brilliant build up again. Lo Celso involved here and the chance for the sub. Pedreza, he skies it wide. Mm. He was brought on to stiffen up the midfield on the left hand side. He had a chance to ra- wrap up tonight's game for them. But even a 2 0, this wouldn't be dead. I mean, we know That's how good it. Bayern Munich That's... are. 130 goals and 58 matches this year. 22 goals in their group in the Champions League this season. And yet they couldn't score tonight. But, but it's hard to thing, see them not scoring yeah, in the second that, leg. Like, Damien, with the the first leg of the Salzburg game in the last round, Salzburg came away one one draw. I think it's it's all to play for going to Munich and they, they go and batter them seven one. Um, and but you know I suppose the thing about this evening was that the chances weren't mm. clean, that clear cut. Uh, clear cut, for example, yeah. Lewandowski only had two shots in goal. You restrict yeah. him to one shot in target. You're, you're doing pretty well. Yeah, it wasn't the kitchen sink job that that, that everyone thought it was going to. But certainly I thought it, it, it could be. But um, this lot gave. Equally as good as what they got, and um, if not even a lot more, sorry. So there was half chances. But look at those yellow shirts that are back there. I mean, it's very, very hard to get through that. You're looking for something to break your way, to fall your way, um, because it's very, very hard to carve that open. No, Bayern won't be too dispirited. They, they'll fancy their chances back at um, back in Munich. But um, listen, it was a decent display from them, but nowhere near enough to get past uh, back, get past them tonight. Yeah, it's, uh, as Brian said, 130 uh, goals for Bayern Munich in all competitions uh, this season. Only twice have they been held uh, to a clean sheet. They were beaten 5-0 by uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach in the German Cup back in October. And now Villarreal tonight. So they will go uh, to Germany for the second leg next Tuesday. Uh, 1-0 up and in with a great chance of reaching the Champions League semi-final.